Hallo, liebe Logo-Programmierer. Dear Logo Programmer, today I would like to show you how time parameters can be visualized in a bar graph. I have prepared an example as an illustration. In the example, input I1 controls an off delay. This is configured as a 10 second countdown. We can see that very clearly in the simulation. A quick pulse sent to input 1 starts the countdown, which is shown here in the simulation. The example also contains a message text which is always active, and it contains a little text. If we now try to visualize a value from function block B2, which is the off delay, as a bar graph, then the logo software will display a message that this is not possible. How can I work around that? I will show you a little trick. I expand the program to include a mathematical function, which is left permanently activated. I open the parameter blocks for the off delay and the mathematical function and then I connect the output of this off delay with parameter P1 of the mathematical function. Now I can see the following node at the properties. Parameter V1 displays the output of function block B2, which is this off delay. If we now open the properties of our message text again, I can insert a bar graph exactly where I want it. And I can refer to function B3, which is the mathematical function. For width, we enter the entire width of the logo display, which is 16 characters. And then we confirm with OK. We can see the bar graph here at this position and can take a look at it in the simulation right away. Instead of the parameter, the output of the mathematical function is shown and the bar graph fills the entire range, just like I configured it. Sometimes you might want to show time counting down in the other direction. How can we do that? Once again, all it takes is a little trick. I simply copy this mathematical function, once again, connect the output of the off delay, but this time with input P2. Then open the properties of the mathematical function, enter the value 1000 for the parameter V1, which in our example is exactly 10 seconds, and then say I want to subtract the countdown time from the value 1000. In the message text, I will again need my bar graph. Here I say that I want the output of function B4 once again across the whole width of the display. When we restart the simulation now, we can see one bar graph that displays an ascending value and a second bar graph that shows a descending value. So, you can see that by using this little trick, the timer parameters can be visualized in a text message as bar graphs. I wish you lots of fun and success working with Logo!